Hey everyone, my name is Ria Imamura, and I'm here to tell you about influenza. Let's start by exploring what is influenza. It is most commonly known as the flu. It is a contagious respiratory illness caused by the influenza viruses. The flu virus attacks the body by spreading through the upper and or lower respiratory tract. It appears mostly in winter seasons through to the early spring. Now, there are three types of influenza viruses, A, B, and C. Human influenza viruses, A and B, are responsible for seasonal flu outbreaks every year around and through the winter seasons in the United States. Influenza type C infections cause a mild respiratory illness, but it is not known to cause epidemics. Influenza A virus are divided into subtypes based on the two proteins present on the surface of the virus, hemagglutinin and neuraminidase. Then they are further broken down into different strains. Influenza B viruses are not divided into subtypes, however, they can be broken down into various strains. Common symptoms for the flu include fever, which is also feeling feverish or having the chills, cough, sore throat, runny or stuffy nose, muscle or body aches, headaches, fatigue, and vomiting and diarrhea which is most common in children than adults. So is it like a cold you ask? Although both the flu and a cold are both contagious respiratory illnesses with similar symptoms, the flu is much more severe. A cold may drag you down a bit, but the flu could leave you bedridden. So how does the flu spread? It spreads from person to person. Most experts believe that flu viruses are spread mainly by droplets when those ill with the flu cough, sneeze, or talk. The droplets can enter in another person's mouth, nose, or even be inhaled into the lungs. It is always better to stay away from those who are sick and to stay away from others if you are sick. Stay at home and give yourself time to recover. Washing hands are always a good safety precaution to take. You should wash your hands often with soap and water. Alcohol-based hand rubs can be used if soap is not accessible. And do not share with those with the flu or if you have the flu. Linens, eating utensils, dishes, and such used by a person with the flu should be washed thoroughly before being used by others. Frequently touched surfaces should be cleaned and disinfected, especially if someone is sick. And as we all may know, the flu is contagious. Most healthy adults can infect others beginning one day prior to when symptoms develop and also five to seven days after sickness subsides. Children may even pass the virus for seven days. Symptoms begin one to four days after the virus enters the body, and some can be infected with the flu virus but show no symptoms. Just as much as you may pass the illness while you are sick, you may pass the illness before you even know you are sick. Who is at risk? Generally, everyone is at risk for getting infected by the flu but certain people are at a higher risk of developing flu complications. They include young children, older adults, pregnant women, people with weakened immune systems, and people with chronic illnesses. According to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, Annually, approximately 5-10% to 10 of the United States population come down with the flu and around 200,000 of those infected are hospitalized due to flu-related complications. How do we treat influenza? 
Unfortunately, there are no specific cures at this moment, but the best treatment is always prevention. Vaccinations, or commonly referred to as the flu shots, are the best preventative measures for the influenza. The vaccinations are updated annually based on the strain of the flu the CDC predicts will affect the population. So it is important to get the shot every year. And unfortunately, the flu shot does not promise 100% prevention from contracting the flu. However, in the case that you do get the flu after getting the shot, the symptoms will be less severe and recovery will be significantly easier and quicker than had you not received the shot. If you do contract the flu, there are antiviral drugs that can be used to treat it. Tamiflu, whose generic name is Oseltamivir, and Relenza, with the generic name of Zenamivir, are two antiviral drugs that can treat it. Tamiflu is available as a pill or liquid form, and Relenza is a powder that is inhaled and it is not recommended for people with breathing problems like asthma. Antiviral drugs lessen the flu symptoms and can shorten the days you are sick by a day or two. Taking antiviral drugs can prevent the flu-related complications like pneumonia. And for patients with high-risk medical conditions, it can be the difference between being homesick instead of hospitalization. Antiviral drugs works best if started within the first two days of the illness. Children and pregnant women can also take the antiviral drugs. But as previously mentioned, best treatment is always prevention, so it's always better to get the annual vaccinations. Just some little helps for battling the flu. We can always aid our bodies in the battle against the flu. When treating the flu at home, eating is very important to keep our body energized to continue fighting the flu. Some foods can actually help us recover. Popsicles can help soothe the sore and dry throat. It can also work to keep our bodies hydrated, which is very important when fighting the flu. You should try looking for popsicles with 100% fruit juice so you are getting some nutrients instead of just sugar. The all-time favorite original sick food, the chicken noodle soup, are great to eat while having the flu. There have been observations of some evidence that the chicken noodle soup help with healing and have mild inflammatory effects. And according to WebMD, studies have even found that hot soup can improve the abilities of the cilia. And moving on, garlic can also be good to eat while sick. It seems to have an antimicrobial and immune stimulating effects. It can also give you a relief from your congestion. Now, there are many other foods that can be helpful to eat while sick. They can help you get better faster. So, how can we get better if we get the flu? Like getting a cold, most of the recovery is a natural one, allowing your body the time and energy to fight the war against the flu viruses. It is always good to check up with your doctors to seek any medical advice on how to recover faster. And as I will go over in a short while, there are drugs that can be taken to help aid in battling the flu. Most people recover in a few days to less than a week, but some people will need to seek medical attention because the flu can cause complications, especially those who have been mentioned to be at higher risk. The flu can enhance chronic illnesses. For instance, those with asthma can experience asthma attacks while being sick with the flu. Common complications with the flu include pneumonia, bronchitis, and ear infections. Well, that concludes my presentation on influenza. I hope you all have a great, 
great rest of the semester and good luck on your finals. And I hope that you guys don't get the flu this year. Alright, goodbye!